Welcome to ECU Masters Training Part 26. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with our launch control and anti-lag feature in our EMU Black software. So the launch control is going to be utilized on a naturally aspirated or a supercharged engine. We're able to command a certain amount of RPM range that we want to go and actually launch our engine at, and it's going to hold us at a consistent amount of torque. We're going to be able to go full throttle and launch with a lot more consistency when we're going to be at the drag strip and usually going to have much more consistent 60 foot times and just our ET in general is going to be improving using the launch control. Now, when we're on our turbocharged engine, we're going to want to build boost off the line to be able to launch harder. So in this situation, we can implement the launch control and the anti-lag so that we can start to pull ignition timing, add fuel, and then be able to generate more temperature and pressure in our turbo manifold to spin the turbo quicker and generate that boost. So we're going to be able to have a two-part effect if it's going to be in a turbo application, naturally aspirated supercharged, we're going to be treating it separately. We're going to be looking at both examples in this video of how to implement the launch control and anti-lag properly for the application we're working with. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our launch control in our EMU Black software. This is going to be looking at the traditional launch control if we have a naturally aspirated engine or supercharged engine, as well as taking a look at the anti-lag feature if we have a turbocharged engine so we can build boost off the line. So before we jump into our training tutorial here, I want to make sure you have your motorsports tuning page layout open so you can follow along with what I'm going to be showing you in this training tutorial. We're able to find that under desktops, open desktops template, and then here under motorsport tuning, this is the option you want to have selected to allow you to see what I have on my screen and follow along. Now, if you're going in and you don't find your motorsports tuning template um, in that folder that you've downloaded, maybe from the beginning of the training course, go back in and re-download it again. I've been adding some more page layouts as I've been going through the training tutorial videos and creating them, so you may not have the most up-to-date page layouts. So make sure you grab that zip file. It's located right in the course, uh, the course directory with all the videos. You'll be able to get the latest uh, uh, page layouts here and, and install them onto your uh, folder so you can follow along. So I'll click cancel here because I have my uh, motorsport tuning page layout open here on the screen already. I'm going to move from my setup page right across here into LC for launch control. Now within here I have all of the tables and all of the data in order to properly dial in launch control. There's a whole bunch of things we got to talk about here. It's actually really not that difficult to set up, but there's going to be some definite things we need to make sure we're aware of if we're working with a naturally aspirated engine or we're working with a turbocharged engine because the way we approach things might be a bit different. Let's talk about what we have on screen here and then we'll start to go through setting up launch control for a naturally aspirated engine first and then for a turbocharged engine. And actually, if it's naturally aspirated or supercharged, the way we're going to be setting up and configuring things is going to be pretty much the same way. Turbocharged will be a bit different. So what we're going to find here on the left side of the screen, we have our basic sensor information. We have our fuel information, so all of our fuel trims, all the fuel data that's going on right now. We're also going to have here our launch control window. This is specific to the launch controls. We can see here launch control active, a yes or no, telling us the status if it's working or not. The launch control fuel enrichment, how much fuel it's adding here. If it's at 100%, that means it's not having any modifier. 110%, that means it's adding 10%. If it's at 90, it's taking 10% out. So that should make sense. Our launch control spark cut, this is going to be telling us how much percentage of spark it's cutting. So we're able to define it between 0 to 100%. Um, we'll talk about the two different aspects of the spark cut. It'll go and finally have a full hard cut, either in fuel cut or spark cut, depending on how we define it, once it reaches a certain RPM. But we're able to interface some of our tables here doing our spark cut pro programming and actually being able to specify what we want that percentage cut to be at, which is nice. That can change the way the launch control and the anti-lag sound and how quickly it starts to cut and it activates. We're also going to find we have launch control ignition retard. This is used on a target. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.